My name's Andrew Brock and this is uh, Tawira, which is the lightning god in Maori. 2018, um, I first met her and fell in love. She was in a fair ordinary state. Uh, all her outer planking had dried out and cracked. The middle planking looked all right, but the, it was just the shape that uh, she was just beautiful, absolutely stunning. The, the counter stern was just a work of art, beautiful. Uh, Gideon Palmer commissioned uh, the CNW Bailey of Auckland, New Zealand to build the Tawira. 1896 in the October she was launched and arrived in the colony of Victoria on the November of the same year. Yeah, the, the boat itself is constructed triple diagonal skin cowrie, uh, which was a premium timber when she was built. Uh, and uh, these days, it's almost impossible to get. It's, uh, the New Zealand government will release it for historic boats, but the price is just prohibited. And I was lucky enough to come along and uh, find Jeremy, who actually had got a whole container full of cowrie off a deceased estate from Lymington actually, which is just down the road and uh, here we are. We've got uh, the materials to rebuild it and what we had left over we were able to swap for teak for the, the decks and teak for the tow rail and we've kept inside, the cow is exposed, it's highlighted so we can see the actual age of the boat. It's, um, it, it's just a beautiful timber. It, it, you've got you know, scars and bits and pieces, but it just adds to the character. So we've, we've kept a, as much as we can, and uh, hopefully she's there for another 126 years. When the mast goes back in, it'll be brought back to completely the original pole uh, um, mast and gaff rigged. Uh, our boom's gonna be 30 foot long, on par with the original. Uh, we're, there again, we were lucky enough to um, pick up enough sicker spruce to do the mast and the boom, and uh, we've just got to sort the sails out now. A lot of, well, most of the original fittings were ripped out in the 70s. Uh, the only thing that survived is uh, the, the tiller cheeks and the, the tiller on the bronze. Everything else we've had to uh, make patterns up and get reforged. The Kiwis have sent a lot of Bailey skier over to us, patterns, all the cleats, uh, original Bailey pattern cleats. Uh, so we've had them forged in a little uh, foundry in Hobart, which is a hidden gem. It's almost a magical society down here. Everybody knows uh, somebody that can do something for the boat and the input from the community has been absolutely amazing. It, it blows my mind actually. It's uh, you know, from the, the, the guy that polishes all the brass to Dan, engineer, Simon, the welders, um, the amount of different trades that go into it is incredible and, and the skill set that we've got down here. And wooden boats have got a soul. Every bit of a wooden boat is shaped by hand. There's no two bits the same. So uh, the love and devotion that's gone into that boat and as it's rebuilt, it's, it's reformed. The love's put back in. Well, there's plenty of love on the boat. It's a, it's a work of art. It's just, you could sit back and just look at it all day and think, how did they do it all? It's elegant. It's, it's not a mass produced. Uh, it, it's just a work of art. The boat has been, things just come together. And I don't know if it's fate or what it is, but the whole journey has been absolutely amazing.